Good morning, hi, afternoon. <laughs> I'm Michelle Rue here from The Strand and this is my knitting journal. Um, you're all very welcome um, and I hope you enjoy what you see. So it is today the 26th of December in South Africa, it's a public holiday. We This year we even got tomorrow off as a public holiday, um, so there's no work or anything like that except for the retail businesses and the emergencies that we are very grateful to work in this festive time to keep us safe. Thank you. Um, so today I've got a list of things that I want to talk about. So if I do it up here, I might put this here. Um, so to give you an idea, I want to tell you about the ice cream jersey. I hope I've got it here. Uh, my binoculars, some yarn that I've tied, my holiday socks, and then mm, maybe some videos that I watched, podcasts, and videos that I posted, and I think there's a game in there as well. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I okay, cool. So the first item that I want to show is um, oh, if you do see my eyes are red. They're very itchy and burning, um, there's something in the air, uh, just a little bit of <laughs> recap, the, the boulders are nearly finished, it's just small touch up things that they still need to do, they will probably come and finish this week or next week, but at least we've got our two bathrooms sorted, it's painted, we can use them, yay, thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Boulder, um, for the people in the area, I will ask his permission to put these details down below in the description box. If not this time, maybe next time, but I'll do that. Um, they work. Um, the things that I'm grateful for, except for the changes, that's obviously a big thing for me, um, is the fact that they were willing to help me this time of the year. Um, lots of the boulders usually close down as from the 16th. And then you can mark. Nothing happens. Where this gentleman really was a gentleman to be able to help me. That we can start afresh in the new year. I really appreciated that. Um, so never mind the dust moans <laughs> from previous videos. It was all worth it. Okay. So uh, that's the building news. Where the news is summer in South Africa. Um, the, it was nice and cold breeze till yesterday. I hope it will continue today because I'm not really one for summer. Um, and then if it's too hot, I'll just go find a space outside to sit in a tree or somewhere in the shade and do my knitting. How does that sound? <laughs> yeah, and the haircut happened as well. I think it is um, a bit better. It's much more manageable, this length, than what it used to be. It used to be like, I think, so much away from my bum at the back. It's too heavy. It's too much. Okay. Cool. So this is the new me for the new year. <laughs> okay, let's talk about knitting because that's why you're here. Hey. Okay. So the first one is the, uh, we refer to, my daughter called it the ice cream jersey. So... It is made of the eyes, uh, naughty habits, um, light fingering, simple wash, 50% merino, 15% mulberry silk, and 15% heat moe, and 20% polymer. So you could even use this for a soft yarn. This is not a very neatly caked one, but this is how it looks like. And this is the yarn with it. Let's see if I close my face, whether you can see it better. Now I can't see anything, hey? So I hope that this looks fine. And the jersey is been shown at quite a lot of times, but it's finished. Look, 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 it's finished. Um so this is yeah. So this was a uh bottom up so at the bottom I made a two by two ribbing and um, I think I did it in the round until under the sleeves 
um, and then I changed it and made the yoke if you remember correctly um, so the yoke comes through here and then I did decreases but I tried to do a shadow uh, a saddle sh shoulder there we go so because it has the a ribbing pattern I didn't want the ribbing to come from underneath the arm straight through I wanted it to come on up there that was a lot of calculations and a lot of ripping out and redoing um, we have as you can see we've got a lot of excess heat um, can't wear her up. Um, so even for my daughter, we will never wear or very seldom wear stuff that goes our chests and our neck area. So she opted for a for a bigger um, neck line um, and long sleeves, which I gathered in quickly for the ribbing for the cuff. And it's not small, mine can fit in there easily. Look, it's not that small, it just looks small, and it stretches out nicely. I'm going to try and keep it close up to you. Oh, uh, because of all the washing, sorry, just back to personal stuff. Because of all the washing, um, and cleaning the bathrooms and whatever, my nails became very soft, and the one hand looks terrible. So sorry for that. I'll try not to for you not to see them, but I might not always be do, be able to do that. Okay, so this pattern looks like that. It is a one by one rib, but every second pull stitch is moss or seed stitch. That's how that looked like. And I see in the, on the camera, you can see the line there. In real life, you can't see that. Where the yoke comes into the sleeves. Okay, so this now I'm going to, not today, because, because it's the 26th. A lot of people will probably fry, just like a barbecue. And then it's just smoke in the air and whatever and I don't want the smoke to get into these garments after I've washed and dropped them so I will keep them aside until just before going back to work or maybe in that first week and then wash them then and lay them out to dry properly so that's the one yeah where you can see it <laughs> um, I've knitted about I started I looked I've net started this um, jersey sweater in March this year, so it was quite a long knit, but I did do a lot of extra stuff in between, and um, I did do a lot of ripping back, um, because I didn't have a pattern. So my think thinking for this year is to do less things without patterns, and maybe trust other people, <laughs> and and um knit what they they're actually right okay so that was the one oh okay i also wrote down here i wanted to say that i used from a 200 gram from a 200 gram yarn i have 21 grams left and then i also did the ribbings on a number three millimeter needle and the balance was done on the 3.5 millimeter needle nearly forgot that bit <laughs> okay so my second um one that i finished garment that i finished is my ranunculus wait yay it's so beautiful it's so soft can't wait that I can wash and block them. So this is made from, and I still have leftovers. This is a blue. This is um, also from Naughty Habit. It is a light fingering full ply super wash uh, merino.
I'll try and remember to flip the video that you can actually read that and not show it the wrong way around. So how did I do this? Um, because it's fingering, um, in the beginning I struggled a bit and at the end I have knitted it with a 5mm needle. I cast it on the 90 stitches. Um, I didn't follow the um, neckline that she subscribed or written. Um, and then I did the yoke. And it's so beautiful, so beautiful. And then I did not do the raglans. Okay, wait, I'm too quick, I'm too fast. I only did the short rows um, at the back, not at the front. I did not do the raglans. I did a three quarter sleeve with the I cord bindle and with no short rows to make it like puffy, just normal straight. Um, I have given it quite a bit of extra length because um, it's just the way that I prefer my garments and um, then at the bottom I took one of the, the patterns here from the yoke and I put that at the bottom and I did a one by one open rip not not like the top not like the twisted one that she gives us on the top and i bind it off with is it jenny's magic bind off the one where you knit knit and then you knit the two stitches that you just knit it together and then you continue because yeah because i need that extra movement <laughs> at the bottom and oh dear you can't see can i do it like that i hope it doesn't pinch it okay that's how my ribbing looks at the bottom okay so for this i used i had three 300 grams of yarn and you can see i've got quite a bit left this is about 70 77 grams of yarn left um, I was very grateful to have the third uh, 100 gram skin that I could take up because then I could have added my neck it looks very narrow I did fit it it does fit it does not have positive ease but it nearly hangs down to my knees so when I'm going to wash and block it I'll Hang it this way around that it can stretch sideways and of course the length will decrease it's not really down to my knees i'm lying but it's under my bum yeah okay and no my bum is not that big that it hang on my knees hey <laughs> okay so there's that one Put this side two duck yay two done two done okay what else did i do so on my video list here on youtube you will see i've added in some videos during the holidays not mentioning it as episodes the one was me opening up happy mail and that was from um hard and equal so you can have a look there it nicely fitted my um, holiday socks so that's something nice to go and look um then i've dyed some yarn which i put on there Sorry, and I've put in a little video of yarn that's crawling, running towards a, um, a Santa Claus pole to jump in. But there's two stories in that. Okay, I'll, I'll add that video at the end, and then you can go and have a look there. You can figure out the two stories. The one is nearly the second one is nearly at the end. The first one begins. Like, I want to say nearly in the beginning, but not the first two photos, but you'll see, you'll see the stories, just go and look out for them, and then you can tell me whether you saw them, and what you think about it, and uh, which stories did you see, and which one did you like, from the yarn crawl, running game. 
the video right at the end of this one okay so that was that the yarn dyeing so i did some yarn dyeing with coffee um the lady the owner of the village book here in somerset west she's um i can't remember this the centrum's name uh, the entrance that I use is in Caledon Street. Um, she gifted me some um, coffee that they would have thrown away. Um, that's the powder that is left over after you've made coffee in the shop. Okay. Um, and I've dyed three, three skins. So I don't have a normal one. But in the video, I will, I've given all the information in there, where I got the undyed yarn from, um, again, from um, where I got the coffee extract from, and exactly how I did it. So, um, this is the color that it came out. Let me see if I put clean page. Let me just find a clean page quickly, because I want to put a white. It's so white. It's so white. Let's see if you see the color. It looks like caramel or coffee with lots of milk in it. It's actually nice. If there's a yellowish to it, the unnatural, the natural, the undyed yarn is not a white it is more a, a yellowish color um, it's really pretty I don't have one here now I'm not going to jump up I'm, I'm blocked in <laughs> can't move so I've got three skins and I'm thinking I'm going to make a surprise pattern maybe and if I can get it right I put it on Ravelry so you can find it there and let it again for us or for yourself I think of doing something for the winter but I do like my lace so it might have something lacy in um, I want to tell you, I'm burning to tell you what pattern I've got in mind and how, how the garment will look like, but um, I'd rather not because just now it doesn't work out. So let me keep that for now, not to disappoint you if it's something different. But I'm going to do that with that yarn. Okay, so that was that. What else? What else do I've got here? The holiday socks. My holiday socks. I'm still busy. I'm nearly finished. I don't have a blocker. Oh, Michelle, you're so disorganized. Okay. So there's the new one. Where's the white? Let me put it on the white. You can see it better. So this time around, it was little white cats. The yarn is from Naughty Habit. I'll give you the details just now. <laughs> It looks nice for the and then the toes for the little thingy in. I know on Instagram I made this on top here and I gave the middle pieces white. Um, it looked for me too much like eyes and um, I didn't like it. So I pulled it out. Okay, so let me show you the yarn. So the pink, the pink, these two came in as a set, and this is from Nobby, Naughty Habits Yarn Club, and it was the very last one. It is fingering three plies superwash, seventy-five percent merino, twenty-five percent nylon, and it was the last, um, the potpourri and cranberry. Uh, sock box from this year 2022 Do it like that 
and even though this looks like I'm not going to say it did make stripes it made single stripes most of the time okay and it's so nice to work with it's so nice okay so I did that and so uh, that is the the pale um, purple mauve and the pink and then for the white the white I used um, Africa's precious soul this one and then for this um, very bright pop color I've had some leftovers it ran away here it is <laughs> Um, I think this is from Esteriza Yon Creations. This is um, from her seven secret seven box that she had this year, 2022. Okay. So that's my socks. My second sock is this far. So there's my toe, there's my heel. Oh, that's something else I can tell you. On the heel, I did a heel flap again, my old one. Sorry, Marietta, I didn't do your heel yet. I'll, I'll do it. One day, I'll get there. <laughs> so, I did it up to there, like a half a heel flap. And then I started to do the slip one, knit one story. That you can have extra fiber and thickness. And I did my heel flap like that as well. So, this entire piece here at the back. Of the heel so this is the toe this entire piece here is thick material now um, and I think it will wear very nicely I did do this in the past where I did the entire foot like that that is very nice if you are wearing um, and you're on your feet the whole time um, because it gives a little bit of extra padding for your for at the bottom of your feet which, which is very nice, but my job is to sit um, most of the time. But I do enjoy a little bit of extra material here at the back. So that's my socks. Yeah, I want to talk about lots of other things, so please bear with me. My mind ran away there a little bit. Um, Back to stories so I did tell you about the the finished garments this is my work in progress that I want to finish today still and then um, I've got the three other um, garments that I'm busy knit, that I can't continue knitting with I did take out my birthday cast on uh, I must really go and google how to pronounce the net pattern name properly but it's from Norma um, so I finished nearly finished the one um, I call it frills I can start my second frill but I will do it maybe tomorrow because I want to finish this and we get knitting for lunch so we'll do that then um, that's all that I can tell you that's all that I've got with me. I did in looked at some people's um, some podcasters um, block misses, and there I found um, one new person that I really enjoyed. She is Marlene. She's from Denmark. Um, her podcast name is Strick Ock Music. Uh, strict means like episode of music if I can uh, translate that directly um, that is my assumption as well um, Marlene is from yeah as I said from Denmark and what is nice about her she does knitting and she loves to do socks and um, she plays piano so in every vlogmas she played some um, Christmas 
song or a carol and then at the end she had a draw for three songs and she played them yesterday and it was really really beautiful and it really just put everyone in the house on a Christmas spirit it was good thank you Marlene the other podcast that I do enjoy watching um, is Jana from Finnish Knitting Stories Finnish like from Finland not finished not completed stuff <laughs> um, uh, she also always have a way to make her, her world a bit more positive around her she will mention stuff that's going wrong um, like most of us a lot of stuff is not going as we would like to but she always finds something nice and nice and beautiful and sharing that and making that part of the story which is lovely for me um, yeah and then the other three people that I've noted down here is of Kate, of course Kate from Hawthorne Cottage um, she was one of the first podcasters I ever watched um, Mouse Makes she's very funny I enjoy that and young young folk knits um, she is a uh, living on a farm and doing lovely lovely things and her decor and her photo shoots is really amazing okay so that's my podcasters that I'm promoting today um, yeah so I wanted to wish you a, a beautiful week and a peaceful new year but the word peace got different meanings for all of us we we all grew up with our own filters with our own beliefs so peace for me could mean um, where I can sit still and don't hear anyone scream and shout and just hear my own breathing and be quiet inside myself that's my my version of peace other people's um, version of peace could be to sit and see the children playing and it could be loud and bubbly but they're not fighting that could be peace um, another example of peace could be or um, in the community where you say that there's love and compassion and um, no harm, no disrespect for each other. That could be peace. And then another example could be that there's no war. Um, so yeah, we all have a different perspective of the word of every word that we speak so when you it's just something to remember and um, if you tell something tell someone have peace you might mean one thing they might think about it as differently but yeah i wish you peace and prosperity for the new year but i'll see you this next weekend again i hope if it all goes well um I still have two weeks leave this one this week and next week um, and oh yeah in the kitchen we discovered some very 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 old um, food color so instead of throwing it away I'm going to color some more the yarn can I do that will it be okay it I've got there's a pink or a red and the yellow and the blue all that yellow and blue actually make green in painted wool um, so I don't know if if you mix it, it it might do green but if you put it on the yarn will it stay green hmm we'll have to see I'll do a video and show you what happens there um, yeah please do note when you do watch my yarn vi uh, dyeing videos I'm not a professional yarn dyer. I am not going to be a professional yarn dyer. I'm just having fun this holiday and I have her back up 
uh, undyed yarn. So rather than that it's lying in my cupboard, I'm doing something with it that I can make some nice things with it. But this yarn does not have nylon or polyamide in it. It's just super wash merino. So it might not be okay for socks. If you've got suggestions, please let me know <laughs> how I, what I can do with only one skin. Because if I do that pink and it comes out like a an Afrikaans scalping, <laughs> if it's shouting at me, I'm not going to do a garment with it. I'll rather do a socks with it. Can I knit socks from this? How do I how do I help this yarn to be okay for socks? Please help me. Okay, cool. So remember the game. I'm going to put a video at the end uh, that you probably saw on Instagram and on the shorts as well um, of uh, yarn crawling. There are two stories in there. Let me know about those two stories, whether you see them. And if you get it way wrong or didn't notice them, I will mention it again in the next video. Otherwise, I will just comment to tell you which one is right. Okay. Um, there are no giveaways on that. Um, that made me think about something else. Giveaway. The, on the 5th of January, if you logal to me, we are having a get together, a sit, sip and knit. I have to say that slowly, a tongue twister for me. So um, on the 5th, uh, you can comment here if you want to know where it is. Um, I will probably ask you to actually um, contact me on uh, Instagram rather because then I can add you to our chat group um, yeah that can be fun to actually meet some of you okay cool how does this look like it's okay hey okay bye